Hello, I'm Tammy Brown reporting to you from LSU University and we're here today to talk about how not only do BRCC students transfer to LSU, some of our graduates actually go to work here. I have Mr. Mike Meek with me today. Mr. Meek, how yes, are me. you? Good, and you? Good. Uh, now you graduated from the HVAC program at BRCC. Yes ma'am, in 2003. Talk to us for the public, what is HVAC and what does that program entail? HVAC program is part of uh, heating, air conditioning, and ventilation, um, which is part of our everyday needs is air conditioning and heating needs in residential, commercial, uh, industrial use. Uh, and what is your position here at LSU? I'm currently a mechanical estimator over uh, LSU, uh, which I've been holding this position for eight years now. Nice. That's a, that's a pretty big position, right? Yes, ma'am. And um, now talk to us. You, you uh, went through the program. How long did it take you to complete the HVAC program? 18 months. Uh, when it, I, in 2003, I graduated um, through the uh, HVAC program at BRCC. And uh, it was 18 months. Now, in that program, did you have a lot of hands-on or academia? How did it look? What did your classes look like? It was a combination of the, of the two. Um, it was hands-on and uh, a lot of academics. Um, it's a lot of training that we went into, a lot of uh, learning a lot of theory. Um, it, was, it was a very good program, but actually it was a stepping stone which helped me get the position I'm in now here at LSU. And you also have uh, other uh, uh, industrial training as well, in addition to that uh, degree or a diploma from the uh, BRCC. You went through an apprenticeship program? I went through an apprenticeship program at uh, ABC, Associated Builders and Contractors, sure, yeah. uh, which I completed in 97. Uh, which was a sheet metal apprenticeship program, which also assisted me uh, in the position I'm in now. I was, I've been doing sheet metal work for 20 plus years now uh, in combination with the HVAC uh, is, is a really good combination to have. Uh, what is it about HVAC that led you to that program? What, what led you there? Living in uh, South Louisiana, it's one of the major uh, needs with our climate that we, we have here. Um, we, we, it's pretty much you have to have air conditioning uh, and heating to survive, especially these hot summers, these 110 degree summers we've been having the last couple of years. It's, it's a real need and it's a medical need for some of the elderly people uh, that we, we were able to help uh, in my own business. Um, we, we're able to uh, do, what we can, do what we can to help. So rather than do the traditional four year route, uh, is that what led you to to go for that? Yes, ma'am. Um, that was one of the things was time constraints. Uh, mm -hmm. We really didn't have the time to, I, I went at night through the HVAC program, uh, which was really assisted me to, to keep a full-time 40 hour a week job during, the, uh, and then do the program part-time. And, and it was really, and it, it uh, assisted me and uh, along the way. We, I've, I've been able to afford my own home. Um, got two uh, teenagers, uh, one in college, uh, one in high school and we we, we have a good life Ac of, in that when you brought that up actually your son is actually in the uh, is he in the HVAC program yes, at BRCC he just recently enrolled this semester is yes, that correct he, he did decide to uh, take the BRCC's uh, HVAC program and that was one of the, um, one of the ideas that he had uh, he's seen how well we've I've done with it over the years and uh, he's decided to take on that challenge itself and you know, I want to ask you this, as we're talking, I thought about this. I realized when you first went into the field, you did a lot of hands-on, and I know you had you did your own business and air conditioning. Now, in, in your pos position here, do you do a lot of the hands-on? No, ma'am. Uh, what my position entails is we uh, give pricing for uh, any, any uh, mechanical work that's needed on campus. Uh, we go in and renovate uh, labs, uh, different facilities, not just laboratories, uh, any facility on this campus. We will, uh, if there's any modifications or changes that, that happen, they go through uh, facility services, which um, we oversee any any of those modifications. And me having uh, mechanical, it, it's predominantly uh, HVAC. Oh, so so you didn't have to get your hands you don't have to get your hands dirty anymore. Not anymore. But it was that skills training uh, that actually led you to this uh, white collar, literally white collar job. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, Michael, we're so glad to have you. We're proud to have you as a BRCC alumni uh, doing great things here um, at LSU. And um, thank. we hope to have you back on the show again. I hope to be yes. back. Yes, and, and, and your son. His son is enrolled in the program, too, at BRCC. So we might hear from him as well. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys for tuning in, and stay tuned. We'll be right back.